Once upon a time, there was a baby who, like all humans, was born with a reality projector built into its being. But this was a baby. This baby was a space of pure consciousness. And as such, it experienced sensation without any meaning. It was pure sensation. It had no stories about the world. It had no words for what the world was, no labels to put on it. And yet, it had this reality projector in its mind. And as it grew, it learned to make meaning of the movies that played through that reality projector. Now they didn't just see the images and feel the sensations. Their parents, the people around them, taught them not only the words for those images it was seeing, but the meaning of the things it was experiencing. So that reality projector, the meaning that that little child learned to give to the world, with the power of thought, got projected onto the world. And that child thought that what it was seeing was the world. When the child's mother told them that they had done something bad and wrong, the child made a meaning of that. And that meaning was that something was wrong with them. And so they looked out onto the world. They looked at themselves and saw not what they are, not what the world is, but what they thought about that world. And as that child grew, some of the meaning they made some of the things they were taught was that they were broken, that there was something wrong with them, and sometimes that the world was broken. And when they thought that, the movie projected by that reality projector onto the world showed them exactly what it was they were thinking, not the world, not themselves in truth, but the movie playing in their head through that reality projector. Now, as this child grew, it learned to cope. The child learned to overcome the meaning projected onto the world by the reality projector with things like affirmations and positive thinking, trying to create new movies without realizing that a movie was playing in the reality projector at all. So sometimes this would work because a new movie did start playing when they said those affirmations. But because that young one didn't know about the reality projector in their mind, they thought that when it didn't work, it meant that they must not be working hard enough, or the world was simply too broken to ever be fixed. But one day, when this being got quiet, wasn't so caught up in the movie, they began to watch the movie as it played, and they saw that the movie changed so quickly that it couldn't possibly be the actual world. It saw the inconsistencies between 
what looked like it was happening on the outside and what felt like it was happening on the inside of them. The meaning they made didn't match the outside. And they saw, oh, I am creating my experience. It's not the world, it's me. It's me that I'm fielding. It's me. Me and this movie I'm giving my attention to. And so, now an adult, the experience became a little more like the child. When the movie started playing, because they knew that it was the reality projector in their mind and not the world, it was the movie and the projector that was causing the way that they felt. They didn't take it so seriously. When a scary movie was playing, they sometimes even enjoyed it. And when it was so bad that they got caught up in a dark movie, they knew that it would pass and they knew that it wasn't them. But they also knew that they could play with the movies that allowed them to create beautiful things in the world, that they had a choice that had always been available. And once they could see it, they were set free.